case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a landmark supreme court case from 1984 lsv brotherhood of railway airline and steamship clerks freight handlers express and station employees a precedent was set concerning the usage of union dues the case centered on clerical employees at Western Airlines who objected to their dues being used for union activities that extended beyond the scope of negotiating agreements and resolving grievances. The controversy unfolded after dissenting workers challenged the union's right to charge them for initiatives beyond their direct collective bargaining efforts. This dispute led to litigation in the district court, which initially ruled in favor of the employees. The judgment, however, was subsequently partially overturned by the Court of Appeals. The principal question before the Supreme Court was whether a union could charge employees for activities outside their direct purview if those employees openly disagreed with those initiatives. In its ruling, the Supreme Court sided largely with the employees, stating that while the union could charge for reporting on activities, it could not levy fees for activities that members objected to. The highest court further argued that the Court of Appeals had been mistaken in enabling the union to apply compelled dues towards general litigation and organizing efforts. Notably, the justices said the previous rebate scheme to return a portion of the dues was adequate to protect employees from the misuse of their contributions. The Supreme Court's decision ultimately served both to affirm and reverse parts of the appeal court's ruling. The case was remanded for further proceedings paving the way for a more nuanced appreciation of the limits of union shop agreement and the proper use of dissenting members' dues. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.